Do you ever watch any of those television shows, uh, maybe on HGTV, where people go around and they look at different houses, maybe they're buying a house. And so they look at a whole bunch of different houses and they're trying to make a decision, they're trying to pick the right house. Now there's one thing in those shows that has always frustrated me. A lot of times people will go into a house and they'll look around and they'll criticize the house, for example, and they'll say, oh, I don't really like the color of these walls or I don't really like this wallpaper. And the thing that always frustrated me uh, about that was that they were basically picking on something that's easy to change. I mean, I understand that it takes a little bit of time and it takes a little bit of money to paint the walls or to take off some wallpaper, but the fact of the matter is it's easy to change the color of your walls. Now, on the other hand, when somebody goes in and they look at a house and they say, well, the master bedroom isn't as big as I would like it to be, or, you know, there's only two bathrooms and I want three bathrooms. Those criticisms I understand because the size of the master bedroom, the size of all the rooms in the house, and the number of bathrooms that are in the house, that's something that's really, really hard to fix. Well, this idea of things that are easy to change or things that are really hard to change is an important concept in economics. In fact, the things that are hard to change usually set the parameters for all the decisions that we make. For example, if I have a car that's uh, a two-seater, it only has two seats, you know, the driver and one other person, I'm limited in how many people I can drive around. I can drive me and one other person. That is a, that's something that's really hard to change. On the other hand, let's say that I have a van, right? And I have a van that where the seats can come out or I can put more seats in or something like that. Let's say I can fit up to maybe eight or 10 people in the van. Well, at that point, I, I'm not as limited as I would be in a two-seater car, but I might be limited in other ways. For example, my vehicle might not be able to go as fast because I'm driving around more people, okay? And so this idea in economics of some things in a business or some things in a household being easy to change and difficult to change are very important concepts and we have special words in economics for those two concepts. Those concepts are fixed and variable. And in economics, in this class, we're going to talk a lot about things that are fixed in a business or things that are variable in a business. Things that are fixed in a business are things that are relatively difficult to change. For example, let's say that there's a business that has a factory and the factory, um, let's say, is a certain size. It has so many doors for trucks to pull up to, to load and unload. And uh, there's only so much room inside the warehouse for storing things. Those are things that are hard to change. You can't just add another door sometimes to a, to a building that you uh, use to do business. And you can't very easily add more square footage to your warehouse. If you want to add more square footage, you'd probably have to take on a large construction project in order to make the building larger or to add on extra doors where more trucks can pull up, okay? That's very, very hard to change. And therefore, the building that a business uses or the location of their business is generally considered to be a fixed thing. So uh, just recently where I live, uh, one of the businesses moved from one shopping center over to another shopping center. For several years, they were in this one shopping center. And then, uh, I guess when their lease ran out, they opened up a location. They closed down this location. They opened up a location in another shopping center. That was very hard to do, and they don't do that very frequently. So their location, where they are, where they do business, that is a fixed uh, characteristic about the business. On the other hand, there are some things about doing business that are very easy to change, okay? Uh, for example, the number of employees that you have. Now, I'm not saying it's easy to hire people, and I'm not saying it's easy to fire people, but I will say this, it's a lot easier to hire somebody than it is to take on a huge construction project. It's a lot easier to fire a person than it is to change the number of doors on a warehouse. You know what I mean? Okay, so... Um, so typically, labor is considered to be 
a variable characteristic about a business. Okay, And so I just want to get into your mind this basic idea that fixed in economics, generally speaking, means something that is relatively difficult to change and variable means relatively easy to change. One more example, since we go back to houses, uh, you could think of a room. For example, maybe your bedroom. Have you ever rearranged the furniture in your bedroom? Or have you ever gotten rid of some of the furniture and you got more furniture or new furniture? I mean, it probably wasn't easy in the sense of like, you know, cooking a grilled cheese sandwich, but it's still reasonably easy. You didn't do any, have to do anything too terribly difficult to get the new furniture or to just move your furniture around. But is there a window in your bedroom? Have you ever wished, hey, I wish that window wasn't there, or I wish that window was higher, or I wish that window, instead of being on this wall, I wish it was over here on this wall. Is that something that's easy to change? Have you ever moved the window? Probably not, because getting rid of a window or putting in a new window in a room is very difficult. Again, we're talking about a construction project here that could take a long time and could cost a lot of money. Okay, And so the idea of the furniture in your room, that's variable. The idea of where the uh, window is in your room, that's fixed. Last thing about your room is, have you ever wished you had more space in your room? Have you ever felt like your, your room was just a little small and you need a little more room for more of your stuff? Okay, Well, the size of your room, again, that's fixed. It's not easy to change the size of your room. Again, you'd probably have to take on a big construction project in order to change the size of your room. So this idea of things that are relatively difficult to change or things that are relatively easy to change in a business or in a household, fixed versus variable in economics. Let's look just a little more at this idea. All right, so now let's talk about factors of production in a business or resources, right? We mentioned previously that land, labor, and capital are the three categories of resources that are used by businesses to be able to make stuff, to be able to produce stuff, right? You want to keep this idea of land, labor, and capital in your mind throughout the entire semester. Well, the land, labor, and capital, these factors of production, which we also call resources, can be characterized as fixed factors of production or variable factors of production. But an easier way to say it is that some of them are fixed resources and some of them are variable resources. Well, in a business or even in a household, fixed resources, those are factors that are difficult to acquire or dispose of. These are things that are not easy to get and they're not easy to get rid of. And there's three main reasons why something will either be uh, fixed or variable. And in a business, three of the qualities, three things that would make something fixed is, first of all, if it's expensive. So expensive resources are are fixed because they are difficult to acquire. The thing that makes them difficult to acquire is that they cost a lot of money. There was a time years ago when computers were a fixed resource for a business, but nowadays computers are a variable resource for businesses. Why? Well, computers used to be very expensive for, for a company to buy. Another thing that makes a resource fixed is that it is massive meaning it is large, it's hard to move, okay? Um, and so there are some businesses that have very large, let's say large machines that they don't really use that much anymore, but it's so hard to get rid of that machine that it just stays there, it's fixed, it's, it's a part of the building. And then the third reason that resources might be fixed is because they are under contract. Uh, I said previously that it's easy to get rid of employees, right? Now, when I say get rid of, meaning fire employees. Unless that employee is under contract, if you have signed a contract, for example, with a labor union for five years, you can't get rid of those employees. You are under contract to employ those workers until that contract is up. And so it is difficult to fire people, and also it's difficult to acquire those people because they require that they have to be under contract. And that's why nowadays, what a lot of businesses will do is, instead of buying their own expensive resources, 
they will rent them short term. So when I say under contract, I mean long term, under contract, long term. See, short term contracts are easy to get out of because they don't last very long. So down here under variable resources, we will say inexpensive resources like laptop computers. You can get those for like, you know, two or three hundred dollars each. Uh, inexpensive. They're usually um, portable items or just simply small, okay? And then the third quality is um, short term or no contract. Short term or no contract, okay? And so these things are easy to get um, to acquire and get rid of, but these things are very difficult to acquire and get rid of. And therefore, what we talk a lot about in business is that we work our variable resources around our fixed resources. And that's why what we understand is that the fixed sets the parameters or the limits on the variable. Now, so that's the last thing we're going to write up here is is that the fixed limits the variable in economics. And so we often make our decisions about these variable resources that are easy to acquire, but we're limited in how we can make these decisions based on what we have in the fixed.